Hey guys, this is Tim and welcome back to a new video. Now, in this video that I'm maybe going to uh, make a segment of on my channel uh, called What's Inside, we're going to take a look at what's inside this Tefal. I think it was a Romerly Reverso bread toaster and it has it uh, it has this really cool feature that you can pick it up you can reverse it and then you can lay it down so that both sides of the bread will get evenly heated and receive even pressure so it makes for really good toast um, but it's broken we whoop, we plugged it in and the breaker uh, popped so then we uh, thought well this thing is very old over 20 years old so why don't we get a new one so to open it there are two torque screws on the bottom by the way this screwdriver set is linked down below it's the one with a tip in front of it so if you want you can uh, purchase it. it costs around 15 euros so that's not a whole lot for this uh, kit yeah bottom plate nothing more to add and this is the mechanism that's well, mechanism this is the locking mechanism you can see that uh, a pin appears when you slide it and I think we need to rotate this I guess I'll need to just push it use this one oh. I suppose they have a tool for that at the factory or at the repair facilities well, let's do it this way then ah hey that worked cool so that's the bottom out ah there you go now they're this, I suppose this was right at the beginning of the Plastic Fantastic uh, thingy because there are clips everywhere in this thing oh tada right so this the middle piece what the hell is that It's rather close to the metal actually. And it's just flapping around in the breeze. Uh, is this a diode of some sort? Or is it a temperature controlled thingy? Uh, which is strange because there, there's a temperature. Well, I assume it's a temperature control thing over here really sure let's get the uh, these plates out you can just pop them out obviously this thing is well used so it's quite dirty and all but oh it just came apart yeah it's going directly into the uh, main connector that's over here so I suppose that's a diode or something. Let's actually remove this and see what's underneath it. This is the side with that temperature control mechanism. So yeah, the AC wires step off into this thing, so I assume it's temperature control or power control. Not sure which one it is. But there is something right here that does look a bit like a temperature sensor. Now I'm not sure if we're able to get this out because I see 
some nails over there. This goes into here. And this regulates the switching of the actual heating elements. So this is a very basic temperature control and this thing, wow. That's nasty, man. Well, I can probably reuse some of the wires. Because I suppose that those are still okay. Well, it's basically just uh, this wire, the two wires. Uh, that's the light. Aha. This is for the light. I was like, like, why are there two wires going into the heating element? But that's for the light. So well, we can take the heating element out. No, there it's popped together. Well, let's remove this side as well. I don't think there will be too much down here, but who knows? What we might find. By the way, uh, a few project updates, because I've been working on the reflow oven lately. Uh, I've made a PCB and, well, I did a temperature sensor test and the uh, temperature sensor didn't respond fast enough. So I switched to a thermocouple and that needed a new PCB. So I ordered it um, today in combination with a PCB for the uh, front panel of my Cooler Master CM690, I think it's Mark II case, but due to Chinese New Year, uh, JLC PCB wasn't able to manufacture them before today. Yeah, they should be coming up really soon. Now, as I thought, this is just another plate with a yeah, a few wires, two wires and a uh, heating element. But this side is uncontrolled. That's really, it's all rather nasty. But that's what you get when you use this thing. It will all go in between uh, every seam and... But it's, uh, it's gone. But I'm wondering what is gone. Because there are no shorts, so it then must be one of the heating elements. Or this thing short to the case. I'm not sure if it was a earth fault or a short circuit. I haven't tested that. But yeah, this is just a uh, basic temperature controlled switch. So yeah, well there's really not much in here as I already expected. Temperature sensor, two heating elements and a slider that controls the position of the temperature target. And well that's basically it. There's no fancy electronics inside here. Well there is an... an, an I assume it's a neon bulb over here. You can see it, this thing that lights up when the heating element is turned on. But that's basically about it. So yeah, this was a uh, quick look into this thing. Well, it's very dirty and it's a complete mess actually. Oh well. Now we know that as well. Now I can throw it away. <laughs> I've been waiting to record this video forever. So there you go. There's the Tefal bread toaster. Oh, by the way, it also came with a few different plates. These are the ones you can use to make bread. But there are also waffles and pancakes, small pancakes. Not sure how you call them in English. Those, those really small pancakes. 
in Dutch we call them poffertjes, which they are really nice. If you are ever going to come to the Netherlands, you should try them together with stroopwafels. They are both delicious. So guys, that's it for this video. Quite a short video, but that doesn't matter. I hope you uh, still enjoyed the video. And as I said, stay tuned on my channel for all the projects that are coming on. I'm also working on that free Artos YouTube series. So let me know if you're excited to watch that. Thanks again for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.